I cannot forget my coffee, okay? I need my, I need my dose of caffeine. Just got off work and I'm about to do two videos before I go back to bed and go to work again the next day and do the same damn thing. I must have missed something. I don't know what happened, but apparently some drama is happening between Queen and Clarence. I don't know the facts about anything at all. The Voice for the People Reacts posted a video titled Queen Nyjia upset with Clarence after dot 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 dot. Don't know what happened. I must have missed something, but here we go. We're gonna watch this video and we're gonna react to it and see what the hell's been going on because, you know, I'm a little nosy. So let's go ahead and watch. Now, I wasn't even gonna mention this, but a lot of sorters have been texting me about Queen and Clarence Love Detective video. Now, side note, you can now text me tea receipts, tips on your favorite YouTubers directly. The number is popping up and the link to my number is hinted in the comments. Now, back to the video. During the Love Detective video, Queen asked Clarence, were you low-key down with a girlfriend swap? Now, Clarence said no and that Kennedy was the homie. Then the Love Detective said that he was lying. <laughs> about this already. I talked about this back in July when a lot of people were wondering why Queen was in her feelings during that particular prank. Now if you recall quote unquote this was DDG's idea when he was trying to prank Queen and Kennedy and basically he was saying oh well me and Clarence was thinking maybe we should swap girlfriends and they had to cut that prank short because Queen wasn't feeling it at all. At first she was smiling thinking it was a joke but then when they kept going with it she was like all right now like <laughs> joke's over. <laughs> Like, let's get back to reality. And you can see that she was in her feelings and a lot of people were wondering why she was in her feelings. And some people were even asking that they actually do the challenge where DDG and Clarence actually swap girlfriends for a day. And I knew that wasn't gonna go down because the prank alone looked like it was about to go left. So I knew the actual day wasn't about to go down. And we've seen the outcome of how couples swap girlfriends for the day, you know, secret taxes and you know, different things going on. But come on, a lot of that stuff are skits. They're not like real. And who the hell, why, listen, oh my god, YouTube is, YouTube has fucked up so many lives, no joke. We are grown ass people, we are some grown ass adults. Why are we doing the stupid ass challenges of swapping girlfriends? I understand it's for skits and for the views and all that bullshit, but come on, let's, let's grow up a little bit. Let's not play these little games. Not everything is for YouTube, y'all. No, so I'm kind of glad that they didn't do the girlfriend swap for a day challenge But I did do a video back in July explaining why Queen was in her feelings and why she felt some type of way during that particular video Grizzly Kennedy and DDG collab with Clarence and Queen and for some reason Kennedy supports old smash a past video with her saying that she was smashed Clarence happened Going by Ooh, who is this? Hold on, hold on uh, Why didn't we get these? Wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Was that Smasher Pass video before Clarence came into the YouTube world and got with Queen? Or was it during? I, I missed something. Let's rewind that back because I missed something. Particular video. Grizzly, Kennedy, and DDG collab with Clarence and Queen. And for some reason, Kennedy supports old Smash a Pass video with her saying that she was smashed Clarence. Oh. Ooh, who is this? Hold on. So it was an old video. They didn't know each other. You guys, like I said before, we are not blind. We are gonna find people attractive. But knowing the situation, Kennedy would never cross that line. Never cross that line. She would never hurt Queen like that. And when it comes to Clarence, Clarence is in love with Queen. He loves his family. But let me tell y'all something. Guys tend to fuck up a lot. Even the guys that are so good, they're gonna fuck up at least once. If the situation was different to where Clarence never met Queen and Kennedy and Clarence met before that, and DDG was not involved, I bet you anything they would have smashed. Probably even got in a relationship. 
quite honestly. But that's not the case right now. That's not the situation right now. But what I'm wondering is if Kennedy already knew who Clarence was before she even met him and the whole Queen and Clarence situation, I wonder how she felt or what she was thinking when she did see him in person and got to meet him and be around him. You found him attractive. So even though he's hands off to you, I still wonder. I still wonder what you what you were thinking when you were like around him, hanging out with him. It's interesting. Now, Kennedy Simone is good friends with Queen Nadia. Yeah. And in my opinion, these videos were recorded while both parties were single. This was way before Queen came in the picture. And at the time, Kennedy was broken up from DDG. So they were both single. But then again. That's so interesting though, because DDG, I wonder if... D oh my God. At the time when she did the Smash Your Pass video, she was during the breakup phase with DDG. I'm pretty sure DDG was checking up on her to see what kind of videos she'd be posting. So he knows, he knew before, before Clarence even came in the picture, he knew what she felt or thought about Clarence. That is weird, y'all. I'm sorry, but I will not have my girl around him. Knowing that she had a little crush on him and knowing that she, that she would have smashed him. Fuck that. This is awkward. Now, now I'm feeling awkward. I'm not gonna lie to you. This is a weird situation now that I know all that. I don't know. Again, if my friend was to say out loud that she would smash my dude, it would make me feel some type of way. Yeah. Like, it would raise some questions like, can I trust my dude and my friend in the same room together? Yeah. And in Queen's case, after that daddy comment, I don't really think she could. It would definitely raise some doubt in her mind. Like Queen would not trust them alone. DDG would not trust them alone. Who would trust them alone? You know damn well Clarence finds her attractive. She obviously finds him attractive. That just ain't gonna slide. Not with me. Like for instance, a lot of couples are doing these pranks on each other. Like I caught my friend in bed with my dude. If that was Queen's situation and she caught Clarence in bed with Kennedy, oh, I don't no. think that, even though it's a prank, I don't think Queen would take it as such. I think she would really turn up in that whole situation and we already see what she did to Armand and that's her cousin. But I can imagine what she would do to Kennedy. Yeah. And let me not just put it all on Kennedy because not only did Kennedy say that she would smash Clarence, but Clarence also said that he was smash <clears throat> she got a nigga too. <laughs> she got a nigga too. We are fucking kidding me right now, y'all. You are kidding me right now. Are you serious? Oh my god, y'all. Okay, wait a second. These videos are not that old. It's like one or two years old. That's it. That's it. And we all know about this video where he pretty much kind of downplayed Queen in this video. I think he said that he would smash Queen, but there was like a little bit of a, you know, a little diss to it also. But damn, Kennedy was in this too? Oh shit, y'all, fuck that. And Queen saw this video. Oh my God, this is weird. This is a weird situation. And I don't understand how nobody has posted this stuff talking about it until just now. Until just now. That's a trip. I reacted to that lie detector test video. And you know how it works. You know how YouTube works. We do our little thumbnail and we do our little clickbait title. That's how we get people to click onto the video to watch. We don't lie. Well, most of us. I can't speak for all of us. But most of us don't lie. We just twist the truth in the title just to make it sound more interesting. It's just funny that I titled my video, Clarence chooses Kennedy Simone over Queen. DDG better keep his eyes on him. And then on my thumbnail, I put not a surprise, dot, 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 dot. I'm telling y'all I'm psychic. I'm telling y'all I'm psychic. I did not know all this happened way before, okay? And I just do this just to like get people to click onto the video to watch because it's, it's just to engage them, just to bring them in, you know what I'm saying? And, and, hey man, mm, I'm just saying there might be a little bit of truth in that, just a little bit, a little bit. Spicy though. Yeah, she, she, she's sweet here too. Spicy. Spicy. Sweet here. And she got the hood, the head in little You know what a Popeye so sweet here? Damn, he went hard on Kennedy. No joke. 
He said a lot of positive comments on her. And when it came to Queen, it was not that great. Damn. Ooh. And she got the hidden little kinky. <laughs> yeah, I'm yeah. with the zoom in. Right? <laughs> got the zoom. Hold on, y'all gotta see what I'm seeing. <laughs> kinky. <laughs> Damn. Yo, um, yeah, but I would definitely glaze. Smash him, smash him. Yeah, it's not just one sided, both of them. Damn, oh my god, this is so bad. They both said they would smash each other. But the universe didn't make it that way. The universe made him and Queen meet. But this is awkward because they're in the same circle now. So this is awkward. I wonder if they ever had that conversation about these videos. Clarence and Queen, I, did you guys have that conversation about that before meeting, before bringing him around Kennedy? Queen and Kennedy, did you guys have that conversation before you brought Kennedy around your man Clarence? Or Clarence and DDG, did y'all have that conversation <laughs> before you brought Kennedy around? Like, this is so interesting. This is weird. I would never feel the same way. Even though they weren't in the relationship at the time, that is just a feeling that they both felt. That feeling just don't go away. It was a reason why you said that. Facts. <laughs> and not only that, though, this, it's the way they, they did the smash. It wasn't just like, oh, he's good looking. Like, damn, like, okay, smash. And he didn't just say, like, yeah, I smash her. She looks good. No, they went in deep. They went in detail and in depth of what they really felt about the physical. This is interesting, y'all. How I feel about the whole situation. Not to blow it up out of proportion and say that something will happen between the two, but me personally, no, right. I would never have them in the room together. Right. Like, we would all hang out as a couple, double date, but it would never be on some, oh, I'm going to hang out with such and such at her house, or I'm going to pick something up at her house. Nah, that's what I'm feeling about the situation. Yeah, I wouldn't have them together alone. But I still would not be in the same circle, though. Listen, if... <laughs> Listen, you can trust you can trust your partner and they and they probably won't ever do anything ever ever in life. I'm not saying that they would do something. I don't think they would, honestly. Like they both love Queen and they both have respect for Queen and they both got respect for DDG. I know nothing would happen. I know they wouldn't do nothing stupid. But still, it's awkward. It's uncomfortable being in the same room knowing how they felt about each other before they even met. It's not, it's not a situation that I would be in. But leave your comments down below. Let me know what you think. And until next time, peace. Queen, Chris Queen. Oh, oh, what's that? She's nice. She's spicy? I don't know about sweet heat. Kennedy is not the only- You see what I'm talking about? He did not do that. He did not say that much good things about Queen. But he went hard for, for Kennedy. The girl Queen feels some type of way around her man. Leah J just so happened to be one of these girls as well. I remember when Aaliyah J actually did a lot when she first moved to LA and she was asking people who she should collab with. And I felt like her whole lie was saying Queen Naja. All you saw was like Queen Naja. Like you saw a little sprinkle of other names like Kennedy and Corey. But a lot of people were saying Queen Naja, Queen Naja, Queen Naja, Queen Naja. And she tried so hard to avoid Queen Naja's name. Like she was like, like trying to look at other people's name and it was like, no, you know you see Queen Naja's name. <laughs> but of course, Aaliyah J can't put herself out there like that. I mean, they don't have no issues, so they say, okay? So they say, quote unquote, they don't have no issue with each Okay, who is she? I'm confused. I don't know who this woman is. Each other. Aaliyah J ain't know what time it is. Queen don't play that. Queen is very strict when it comes to Clarence. Mm, a collaboration? I don't know about that. Chatting on Instagram, that's cool, but y'all meeting up. Nine times out of ten, Queen is always with Clarence. So, even though Loki in this video, Queen did shake Kennedy because she said she don't have no friends. So, I thought Queen and Kennedy were friends, but...
You learn something new every day. Leave your comments down below. Damn. Let me know what you're thinking. Until next time, peace. Damn, that is ridiculous. So this is only these videos are only like a year or two old. And no one thought about this until just now. Why? This is crazy. Even in my reaction video, before I knew all of this, because I just learned this right now. <laughs> I'm telling you, I know how to read people. I'm very good at it. Look, if y'all don't believe me, look what I said in the video. The day that we did <laughs> girl, uh, uh, girlfriend swap, y'all did the girlfriend swap prank on me and Kennedy, you and Nina G, mm -hmm. you low key down with it. <laughs> I think so. Promise. Come on. I think he was down. That's the homie. Biggie G's my nigga, Kenny the homie. Boy, bye. I've been saying that with the truth. I sound like. Boy, bye. Man, face. <laughs> <laughs> I'm out. Man, I'm out. <laughs> Damn, no. bro. No. It's <laughs> not. <laughs> Yo. There's no way in hell that Clarence does not find Kennedy attractive. Come on now, Kennedy's a beautiful girl. Doesn't mean you wanna fuck her. I know for damn sure if you were put on a real lie detector test, come on now, you would've failed that shit real quick. Come on. Come on. I'm telling you, I have a talent, I have a talent. All right, you guys, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and please hit that bell so you can get notified every time I upload. See you in the next video. Peace.